Hello and welcome back to another TRC Shave and Chat. I'm your host CDB and today I'm going to be showcasing a couple of products for you or, or at least a few. Um, we're going to start off with Strike Gold Shave Honest Ape and man what a beautiful scent this is. Really nice great citrus scent. The scent is based on Ultra Zest, the cologne. We'll show you the notes or the way it's described uh, right there. This is an oh man this is one of my favorite scents. I absolutely love it. Uh, it comes to you for $24.99 for five ounces or a fair price of $4.99 on our cost chart there. This is a tallow-based soap and we'll show you the ingredients right there. Good, qual good quality soap in my opinion, underrated and the scent is just, man, it's exceptional. Uh, right at the medium scent strength. We're also gonna be using today the Twig uh, razor and I'll show you how it loads in case you're curious. Twists up and comes around like so, it's very, very cool. I have a feather blade loaded in here today. A half DE blade is what these razors uh, take and you just lay them in that tray right there and there's magnets in it and you rotate it around and back down. So this is a half double-edged razor blade shaver or a single-edged shaver, you might wanna call it. Um, I really enjoy using it and today I'm gonna do a head shave with it. So we're gonna go ahead and wet the dome here, just applying some plain water. There's no special elixir or anything, Just just water to get some hydration going. We used our Captain's Choice Bowl to make the lather and the Strike Gold uh, Shave Honest Ape has made a really nice lather. And the brush is the Omega Evo, which you can find uh, on the Razor Company here. Um, they sell different types of Evos. Don't know if they're in stock as of the moment, but you can check. These um, Evo knots have a little more backbone than your you know, say a cashmere knot or something like that. And so if you want a synthetic with a little backbone, I think these Evo knots or maybe the Simpson Trafalgar series might be to your liking. They definitely, you know, have a little bit of backbone and, and some uh, springiness, springiness to them. Excuse me for that. As you can see, we have no problem <laughs> with the uh, Strike Gold Shave Lather. This is a good quality, quality soap and what really impresses me the most on this one is the scent. It is just fantastic. And they do have it here on the Razor Company. If you are interested, um, I suggest if you want it, you grab it while it's in stock because this one, this one goes fast because <laughs> the scent is incredible. Don't let the label fool you when you see good old Honest Abe there. This is a banger scent. Like it's, it's really, really great. Bright. You know, we don't necessarily think of Honest Abe as bright and so on, but uh, this soap, whew, it brings it. It is one of my favorite scents, one of my top scents. And it's one of the reasons I chose to uh, bring it in today because I haven't used it for a while. And I'm like, this will give me an excuse to use Honest Aim because I saw it was in stock at the Razor Company, or at least when I recorded this, it was in stock. It may not remain so, but hopefully um, if they do sell out, maybe they'll get more because this one I think is, is a soap worth having. The scent is just really incredible. I know I'm droning on a lot about that, but I just love it. <laughs> All right, so let's get going. First, we're gonna dry off our hands because you always wanna have dry hands. That is key. And then we'll get to the shave with the Twig by Leaf Shave. And these are also available on the Razor Company right now. And again, as of when I shot this video, which I think is the 14th of May, and I don't know when it will air, these were in stock, and so if they're out of stock, um, by the time this airs, I apologize. <laughs> but I'm sure if they're selling well, that uh, the kind folks at the Razor Company will try to get more, so that there is that. But uh, this is a nice shaver for face, for head, for whatever. I assume if you're a lady, it might be nice for the legs as well. I obviously haven't used it in that application, but I have used it many times on my face. And, and uh, I don't know, good five or six times on my head and I've had good luck with it. I have enjoyed uh, using it. I think it's a good razor. It runs about $59 if you're curious about the price. So keep that in mind. And it's um, it feels quite nimble in the, in the uh, hand. It's not very bulky in the head as you can see there. And so it, it allows you to get in some some tight spaces easily. And I like using it 
um, for my head shaves. And honestly, I don't enjoy using a lot of DE or SE razors on my head, but this twig, for some reason, I've kind of taken to it. And so I do enjoy using this one on my head. It's one of those that hits the mark uh, for me. And each time I use it, I find myself going, man, that's a good razor, <laughs> you know? So check it out if you please. But as always, we just showcase these products and uh, we don't ever ask you to buy anything, or at least I don't. Um, but we do make you aware of these fine products for your consideration. I'm telling you right, right now, this scent on the Honest Abe, poof, I am really enjoying it a lot. Sorry about the water running down in the eye there. Super enjoyable scent. I wish I could describe it more than just citrus because it's got more than just citrus. Um, it's a really nice scent. I don't know why they continue, uh, this continued the fragrance this was based on, which again was uh, Ultra Zest because this is a really nice fragrance. And honestly, I'd never experienced the fragrance until I tried the soap. So that's that's kind of one of the nice things about these um, inspired senses. Sometimes you've never tried something and you're introduced to it by one of the uh, artisans, you know? So I kind of like that because I had never had any experience with with this fragrance. And then once, uh, once I tried this up, I was like, man, is that a good fragrance? And then I went looking for it and sadly it's discontinued, but I don't know why, because it's, it's really awesome in my opinion. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, but I think someone told me there is a, a fragrance that's like it, made by Paco Rabanne or Paco Rabanne, however you say that. Apologies for not knowing. So I might look into that one. Um, but definitely, um, I enjoy using the aftershave that um, that you can also buy on a state from uh, Strike Gold. Again, those are sold here at the Razor Company if you're interested. Really incredible scent. One of my favorite scents. This would definitely be, um, if I made a top 10 um, scents, I think this would be one of them. I, I like it that much. It's, it's just really awesome. And I apologize if I'm a little tongue twisted today. I'm just out of sorts because this uh, aromatherapy, <laughs> it's really enjoyable. And I'm enjoying the good old trusty twig here too. Um, Small razor, but it, it uh, does a great job. It, it sort of punches above its weight, in my opinion. And uh, I've really enjoyed using it both on the head and the face. And you know, I, I like Leaf products anyway. I'm glad to see him. I'm glad to see him uh, here on the razor company. He does, uh, I believe he's stocking the, the regular Leaf razor as well. So if you're interested in a Leaf, you can check that out. I often use the Leaf razor for head shaving, but today I figured let's use the twig because I haven't used it for a little bit. And man, that first pass, that was very nice. And this soap is just, it's wonderful. Absolutely nothing to complain about when it comes to this soap. And Straight Gold Shave has a very good quality base. Um, it gives you everything you need, or at least it gives me everything I need. I don't, there's no quality issues with it whatsoever. You, you can make a nice creamy lather. It's not finicky like some of the, uh, some artisanal soaps can be a bit finicky to lather. This is not one of those. It lathers up pretty easily. It yields a, uh, a creamy lather readily without a whole lot of effort. And for me, that's very, very nice. That's what I like. I like to just come in here, get the soap lathered up relatively quickly, and then enjoy that fragrance while I'm lathering it. And then of course, ultimately enjoy the shave. And I, I don't try to, I, when I say relatively quickly, this style of shaving is really not something to rush. This is, this is something where we, we take our time and we uh, luxuriate and, and enjoy the aroma. So when I say relatively quickly, I just mean, if you watch my tutorial videos, which I'll link them below, and I have some here on the Razor Company's uh, YouTube channel, I take the time to show you and it takes longer than it would if I'm just doing it myself. So normally I would just spend a, a few minutes making the the lather if I'm not doing the tutorial. So it does, doesn't take a lot of time, but I recommend that you um, do your shaves when you do have time. 
this style of shaving is is better when you take time and enjoy it and and not rush it you know sometimes there are speed challenges and tags and so on that go on throughout the community but for again for me that's really not what the style of shaving is about it's it's sort of contrary to that it's it's about taking time enjoying the process uh, having some me time so to speak whether you're a male female it doesn't matter take the time enjoy those wonderful scents enjoy your shave um and make sure it's uh just one of those experiences that sort of set your day off in the right way or maybe you've had a, a difficult day at work you come home you get a great shave and you know you're relaxed and uh, you, however you want to do it i just recommend that you allow yourself the time to do it did i cut my ear there no it's just sticking out there i thought i thought for a minute that was blood but it turns out there's an ear there so who to thunk it all right here we go for pass number two which is my final pass with the twig and i really enjoy using this razor like i said before it's just a nice shaver again the blade feather and they probably have some feathers here on uh, trc all right very nice and i did actually um i'll show you where i got myself and you can take this as a teaching moment the bottom of this this is the only thing for a head shaver the uh there's some little nubs right there and i got my ear this ear right here with that little thing right there so be careful about that I usually try to put my finger in the way, but that time I didn't do it fully. So just take that as <laughs> learn from me. Um, when I do make mistakes with uh, head shaving, it's usually getting the ear. So, and I have today right on the Razor Company's YouTube channel, but we will keep it in because these videos are legit. <laughs> We're not gonna edit that kind of stuff out. We just leave it in there and go, hey, oh, that guy cut his ear. Oh, look, it's awful. No, it's not bad. I will pause it and go ahead and put a styptic on it because that thing will bleed like crazy. Stand by. And all right, we are back and we applied a little bit of styptic. I just barely got it right there. So I put the styptic on it just to, so it won't be bleeding uh, throughout. And in fact, I think I have a video up on the uh, channel here, the Razor Company YouTube channel about using the styptic and alum and all of that. So check that out. You can look through the videos and find that one if you please. That is one of the things to always be aware of. And you're a head shaver and particularly when you have uh, razors that have those sort of things because that's what i got it with that right there and that's the second time i've done it and so it means i need to be more careful and make sure that uh when i'm going around the ear there that i'm keeping my finger over that spot so i don't back down on it my ear set very close to my head so that's always an issue for me and i probably cut myself over the years, um, when head shaving, maybe, I don't know, seven or eight times, maybe, I mean, as far as I can remember, and probably five of them were on the ear. <laughs> and just doing that, even with a cart razor, where they have that trimming attachment, I backed that down on my ear before, so you just have to use extra care there and make sure you're uh, not backing the back of the razor down onto the ear because it will not appreciate it, I promise you. <laughs> and even with the twig, it will, uh, the back of that will get you if, you if you're not careful. So always be mindful of the ears, but that's no issue. But I have certainly done that a few times but over the years. Um, it's one of those, it's sort of my, uh, when it comes to head shaving, that's my sort of Achilles heel. If I had one, it's, is, uh, getting those ears. But otherwise, I have to say, quite an enjoyable shave. The soap is magnificent. It has a terrific scent, which I I know I've droned on a lot about. But man, this is a good one. So I hope if you're interested, you'll uh, give it a shot. Especially if you're a citrus lover, this one is great. Uh, again, one of my absolute favorites. Now, what I'm gonna do now, just showing you, I'm gonna make sure I have those fingers over that ear as I'm going around this space. Cause what happened on the other ears, I backed that down and that's what got me. So if I keep my fingers there, if anything gets cut, it'll be the fingers and not the ear. And the thing about um, 
If you're a head shaver, you know this, and if you're not, maybe you don't. When you do manage to get yourself when head shaving, it bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. <laughs> it doesn't stop quickly, so keep that in mind. If you do get a little nick or cut, I do advise that you have some alum and a styptic around so you can bring that to a quick stop if need be. Because it'll, it will look like, even if it's a very small cut or a weeper, it'll look like quite a cut with the head shaving. That's just the way it goes. And I find the face is not nearly as prone to look like a bad cut when it's not. So let's do a little bit of touching up here. What I'm going to do is just pull some of the lather out of the brush. Oh man, what a scent. Great scent. I'm just going to touch up some areas here. Right here is always a spot that I need, need to do some work on. And we will steer well clear of that ear as to not cause it any more problem today. Let's get the spot over here. Make sure we're getting our most difficult spots. Man, what an enjoyable shave though. The Honest Abe is just fantastic. Absolutely love it. Strike all shave. It's good stuff. Don't sleep on it, people. Or at least that's my advice. Okay. I think we've done well enough. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and I cannot wait to get into this aftershave. But first, just a quick review of what we used today. This is Strike Gold Shave Honest Aid, available as the date of recording this video uh, at the Razor Company. Beautiful scent, beautiful soap. I absolutely love it. And I think you will too, if you're a fan of uh, citrus scents. We use the Twig, which I also love. These are also available here on the Razor Company uh, website, and it is a really nice single edge shaver, half DE blade. It's good for the face, it's good for the head, it's probably good for whatever you want to use it for. I really enjoyed it a lot. We use the Omega Evo brush, which uh, this particular brush has a little more backbone than maybe your cashmere knot, but still enjoyable. I like that a lot. And we're gonna close it out today with Honest Abe by Straight Gold Shave. The fragrance on this is just incredible. And we're gonna be off to the races and having a wonderful day. And I hope wherever you are, you have a magnificent day as well. Oh yeah, that's nice. Feels really, really good and smells even better. Thank you so much for joining, me, joining us. <laughs> Excuse me, I really appreciate it. On behalf of the Razor Company, I'm your host CDB, wishing you a great day and a great shave.